Hey, uh, so today I wanted to do a different type of video. So pretty much, I wanted to do this new thing called tier list. Well, tier lists are definitely not new, but uh, in Sneaky Sasquatch, no one's really done it yet. At least to my knowledge. I haven't really seen anyone do it, so I wanted to do my own tier list. And for all the people that don't know what a tier list is, it's pretty much, I put all my, I put whatever stuff, like for example... I can put this on S tier, and if I put it on S tier, that means I think I really like it. It's like the greatest, but let's say I don't like uh, the golf cart, then I put it down to like a D tier, an F tier, which means I don't like it. So that's in a nutshell what the tier list is. But I'm sure most of you know what it is. I just wanted to give a quick basic, give you basic knowledge. And the theme is vehicles. So that means boats and cars. So those are, that's the type of tier list I'm gonna do today. Sneaky Sasquatch. And I did make this one myself, and it will be linked in the description if you do want to make your own version. I'd like to see your opinions in the comments. But anyways, let's get started. So, we'll start with our example car, the delivery truck. And I think I'm going to give it a, a C tier, because it's really slow, and you can just get the delivery decal on your supercar anyway. So you might as well just use that for deliveries. But it is free, and it's pretty easy to get, so I'll give it a C tier instead of a D tier. So that's my opinion on that. And um, next I'll go for the basic car. I think I'll give this one a B tier because this one is pretty good for beginners. But the thing is it quickly then becomes pretty useless after you get like a race car or a super car. So that, for that reason, I give it a B tier. Then for the canoe, I think I'll stick with a B tier, a D tier, I mean. Mainly because of how like slow it is. It's handling is super bad. And I remember it being pretty expensive to buy one. It's just not that great. It can't drive up the rivers either. So for that reason, it's going to get a D tier. So the next thing I'd like to rank is the 4x4. So I think I'm going to give this one an A tier. Uh, mainly for the aesthetic of it. It looks really cool. It's pretty customizable. It's not necessarily fast, but it's pretty decent. I mean, if you're like casual about, if you're like a casual player, I think this is a pretty good car. I just hate how pricey it is or how hard it is to obtain, but overall it looks pretty cool. So I'll give it an A tier. Uh, the next thing I'll rank is the taxi. And I think I'm gonna have to give it a B tier as well because it's not much different from the basic car besides the fact that it has more seats, but it does have more seats, but it's not really worth the trouble. So I'll give the taxi a B tier. Now, I'll go with the dirt bike, and I think this is going to get an A tier. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to. Let me put that back. So, oh, I lost it. Uh, We'll just ignore that. So, I'm going to pick the go-kart. Oh, wait, here's the dirt bike. The dirt bike is going to get an A tier. So, the reason I give the dirt bike an A tier is because you pretty much need it for the dirt bike stuff. I mean, you know, the Mortal Circle update. Uh, it's pretty useful for all the racing. It's good for grinding coins if you want to do that method. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Even if you are even if you have better stuff, it's still pretty useful for racing. So I'll give it an A tier. Now for the sports bike, this might be a bit controversial to all of you. But I think I'm going to have to give it a B tier because it's the, the vehicle itself is fine. Like the speed, it, that's all balanced. It's just the price you're paying is like a lot. You're paying about 100,000 coins um for the maximum speed and it's only like an extra 20 miles per hour faster than the supercar and the supercar is way cheaper and it's also more customizable so if anything the supercar is actually better so for that reason it's only going to be a b tier so now the next thing i'm going to rank is the jet ski i think it's called that it's like the tiny boat but fast i'm going to give it a c tier sure it is kind of fast but the fact they can't fish on it is really annoying. Uh, if you could fish on it, that would be pretty nice. But because of that, I'm going to leave it on a C tier. So the next thing I'm going to rank is the chopper bike. And I think I'm going to stick with a B tier. While it does look cool, obtaining it, it can be pretty hard to do. Because you have to get really lucky with the newspapers. And that was kind of a pain in the butt for me. So it is pretty decent. I just hate obtaining it. So, but it does look pretty cool, so I'll stick off a B tier for it. And the truck, I think I'm going to give this, huh, I think I'll give it an S tier. And the reason I give it an S tier is because you pretty much need these in your game to obtain wood, because you can build so many things of wood. You can build all your warps with it, 
and you can build your own island. Like you need the trucks, and that's only that's the only thing you need. You just need trucks, and it's pretty cheap and good for its value. And you can also make it into a monster truck, and it's really worth the value. So easy S tier for me. Now the golf cart. I mean, I'll give it a, I'll give it a B tier because it's pretty cheap and good for beginners. I just think it's a little bit pricey at the same time though, and the bike is a pretty good alternative anyway. Which was added recently, so I'll stick up a B tier for that one. Uh, police car is a C tier. The reason I give this one a C tier is because it's just not great. Uh, oh yeah, the reason I think that is because you can just get the lights on your supercar anyway, and it's not you can't really customize it at all. So I'll keep it at C tier. Now this boat, I'll keep it at an A, actually a B tier. And the reason I keep it at a B tier is because um yeah, it's pretty yeah, it's pretty fast and it's actually pretty cheap as well. It's yeah, it's only like a couple thousand, I think. But yeah, it's pretty good and you can also fish on unlike the other one. So that's definitely a good B tier for me. Uh this boat, S tier, because it's really fast, relatively cheap, and really good for the value. So uh super boat, definitely an S tier. Uh we're almost done. So the supercar is also an S tier because customizable. Fast, cheap for and really good for its value. Uh, this one I'll give it an A tier. It's also pretty good for its value. It's just not as fast, so I think I'll keep it at an A tier. The go kart is a B. Yeah, a go kart's a B tier, because yeah, it's pretty decent for beginners. Like most of them, it's pretty good. Beginners, it's pretty aesthetic to an extent, but it's not great. Like mostly, so I'll give it a B tier. Now this bike, I'll also give it a B tier because it's kind of like it feels the same as most of the bikes. It's not really nothing. It's nothing special, but you know it's, it's there, so I'll keep it at a B tier. Then the speed car is an A tier because it's pretty fast and yeah, it's pretty fast and it's good for its value, like the supercar, and it's pretty good for treasure map. So that pretty much concludes my tier list. I'll show a screenshot of the full thing. I actually didn't put any F tier ones, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much my tier list video. So if you enjoyed it, um, yes, you enjoyed it. So like the video, I guess, and subscribe, I guess. if you, Only if you want to, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Goodbye.